at the Paulist, primarily because I lived in the Paulist parish from the time I was about four years of age. And it was Good Shepherd Parish, the northern parish in Manhattan Island. Paulist Fathers founded the parish around 1910 or 12, somewhere in that area. It was a very good parish, very active parish. I was still 26, just shy of 27. Came down from uh, Good Shepherd with my family and uh, met all sorts of other family members. Plus people from Good Shepherd came down here and then normally the people who come from this parish were very much Paula centered and they would come too. So the church was jam packed. In those days it sat 1600 people, it sat seats only 800 now. Cardinal Spell was the one who had the ordination. But all I remember is that most of us were very, you know, intent on, on what was going on, but also very nervous about it. It was a big event. The principal influences on us uh, of how the faith was lived, not just preached by the Paulus Fathers and the Sisters of Mercy and the De La Salle brothers, but by the way it was lived by the people in the parish. And we saw living examples of it. The saints of God were among us in the early church. They called the people saints. Now, there's an old jingle, to live above with the saints of God is everlasting glory. To live below with the saints we know is quite another story. <laughs> and we had all sorts, but it was a great impact with those families that even people who were struggling, they had the faith and they exemplified it and they tried to integrate it in their lives, which was a great influence on us. It was not just theory that we saw, but we saw it in practice and experienced it. If he's going to be a full-time chaplain, I say first get some experience in a regular parish and know what the actual parish is and how people live and what their problems are uh, on that level. Then when you go to a hospital, you have to open yourself up to be able to live with pain and realize that when everybody you meet who's sick or dying, you're facing your own sickness and your own death in a way. And you better have some good counseling when you do that because uh, it can throw you a great deal. You can get very down or depressed. Uh, but if you have other examples and good, good advice and good uh, spiritual direction, then it might help you get through that a lot easier. This has always been a favorite of mine especially the rotation to St. Paul, or do it find that with the race that have kept the faith. I hope we don't just more than just keep things, but we did more than that, I hope we help share it with others. And I hope we are still trying to live it. The Lord's still working on us all.